This little guy has had it rough, as he is one of Elden Ring's weakest huh? enemies. To put his might into perspective, the very first real boss you come across deals six times more damage than this stinker. It would take the average Elden Ringer about a minute of standing still to even notice the health by moving against this menace, which makes it hard to believe that some attacks do a tenth of his damage. But to find out just how weak some of the attacks can get, I went ahead and lowered my resistances to the theoretical minimum to get the raw damage numbers and keep it equal for each damage type. The pants don't give me any extra defense, it's just to defend your self-esteem and mine. There's hundreds of enemies and thousands of attacks to look at, and while it is very overwhelming at first, the only place that really makes sense for this is Limgrave, since the rest of the game scales exponentially in damage. With that out of the way, let's rank the most pathetic attacks in Elden Ring, starting off with this blob. Baby flowers, crab spit, tutorial crossbow, tiny octopus, baby crab jab, you not like in the video, getting goomer stoned, hit with a stick, dragonflies, and lastly, there's two more left to rank, one of which is Mr. Maidenless. Unfortunately for him, however, he did not watch the IGN build guide and chose the worst weapon in the game. His bundle of flowers deals less than half the damage of an actual baby flower. This man would lose a one-on-one -on -one against a literal flower. But despite that, the weakest attack makes even our favorite douchebag seem like an endgame boss. It can be found in Weeping Peninsula, of all places, I am talking about this. Irena. If you hit her enough, she will use the rejection spell, which usually doesn't deal any damage other than emotional. Her version, however, does tickle your health. And when it comes to damage, we are looking at a pathetic 5 damage as a wretch. Single. Digit. Damage. This attack would take more than 5 minutes straight to kill you and probably double that if you were armor. There's absolutely no way that can be turned into a one-shot. Right? Well. To start off, we have to find the weakest starting class, which means lowest HP, lowest resistances, and fitting stats. To keep it simple, these numbers right here are level-based damage reductions that go up with every stat you increase. It's meant to make you more tanky the higher you level, so for our purpose we want to keep that as low as possible. Even as little as 50 extra resistance can halve the damage you take. Because of that, Wretch is the best choice for this experiment. The first idea is reducing our max health, which we have very little options for. Sure, combining these can lower our HP to 274, but without any form of damage increases, it's obviously pointless. The second one is to increase the damage we take, which luckily Elden Ring has a lot more options for that most of us have unintentionally gotten familiar with already. Some bigger than others. Combining these is not as simple as it might seem though, because we need to be able to cast Hall of Shibriri, which takes 33 faith. Not a big deal, just use some items and buffs to increase faith and you won't have to level up at all. Except there's a few little problems. Do you remember these numbers? Increasing faith to 33 would skyrocket the resistances. And besides, we have 10 faith, and with all of the buffs in the game, we can only add 22, which would still not be enough to cast Howl. Without that, we would be losing a lot of extra damage taken, but luckily for literally no one but me, there is a workaround. Leveling faith to 11 happens to not increase any resistances, and on top of that, resting with the Howl buff active does not remove it, but it does reset the flask buff, and therefore the increased resistances. I also used the scorpion talisman over the saw seals to avoid increasing resistances entirely. So here's the game plan. Level faith to 11 switch to the faith setup, cast howl, rest and remove the faith tier, and switch back to the max damage setup for a total of... 26 damage. It's more than 5 times the original damage, but at a laughable 6% of our total health, it's about as deadly as all of these mean YouTube comments. So I guess it's not possible then. Unless... New game plus. Early game areas get a big increase in damage, which should include NPCs that have gone mad. So if we go all the way to the max, NG plus 7, and try again, it turns out that it is in fact possible to turn 5 damage into a one-shot kill. 